everyone and welcome to Training Tuesday for September 21st, 2021. I am Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Equine Sanctuary. I am joined today by Tao Seti from Reach Out Reptiles. And a few weeks ago in one of our Training Tuesday videos, I went over step one in target training your snake and I showed multiple examples of snakes doing step one, which was pairing the target directly with food so that they could start building an association between the target and reinforcement. But that is classical conditioning or associative learning. And we wanna start as soon as the snakes are ready, moving them away from that to a process called operant conditioning or instrumental learning. So in associative learning, they have learned to associate the target with food. And we want to make sure that we are teaching them ultimately that that target means they have the opportunity to earn reinforcement contingent upon some other behavior. If all you're ever going to use the target for is to signal feeding, then you can just keep pairing that target with food and that's fine. But just understand then, if that's what you're doing, that every time the snake sees the target, the feeding response is going to be activated and they're going to get into food mode. That's not generally what I want to use the target for. I want to use the target to get the snake to perform other behaviors like recalling, like shifting, like stationing. And so as soon as they're ready, I want to start transitioning them away from associative learning to instrumental learning, which is operant conditioning. And that means that the target is a signal to them that they need to perform some behavior first in order to earn reinforcement and that that reinforcement is contingent upon the behavior that they perform and that they're just not getting it free because the target is presented. And so in the following video, you are going to get to see multiple examples of snakes during this second step of target training where they are transitioning for the very first time from the target being paired with food to the target being presented first and then the reinforcement given. And because this is the transitional step and it's the first time they're gonna be doing this, you wanna reinforce immediately. As soon as that snake acknowledges that empty target in any way, they look at it, they move towards it, they move in its direction, they tongue flick at it, then you wanna reinforce. And I think after watching the video of all of the different snakes doing this step that you will get the idea. This first animal is an excellent example of how you want step two to go. You present the target, they look at it, and then you present the reinforcement. This is another really great example. She looks at the target and right away I present the reinforcement. But remember that you're presenting the target first with no food or whatever else you're using for reinforcement. And as soon as they acknowledge it, then you're giving them the reinforcement. Now here's something that you might run into when you're transitioning from pairing the target with food to presenting just the target first prior to delivering the reinforcement, and that is having the snake strike at the target. And I'm trying to give her an opportunity to just look at the target without striking or to approach the target without striking. So I tried switching sides with her, I tried taking the target away for a few seconds and then presenting it again. And as you can see, she's still striking in its direction, but the striking is becoming less and less. In fact, that last time she didn't even touch it. So then I decide I'm just going to move the position of the target and see if that doesn't help her realize that she has to do something else, that she has to interact with that target in some other way in order to earn the reinforcement. That the target is just not there to signal food, but that there is some behavior she has to perform in order to earn that reinforcement. And you should have been able to see there that her brain switches gears from just reacting to thinking. She's pausing and being very cautious here and appraising prior to acting, and that's what you want. Here's another excellent example of transitioning from pairing the target with food to presenting the target and then reinforcing when they respond to it. Here's another great example. Not all of the snakes go through that phase where they strike at the target, but some of them will. This is Tilly, she's another great example. She looked at that target, I presented reinforcement, it went smoothly. Another really smooth example of how you would like the transition to go. This is Zelinka, and again, He's looking at the target, he moved a little in its direction, I reinforced that. 
This is another example of a snake that gets over ambitious and strikes at the target. As soon as he sees the targets there, he strikes at it. I take the target away for a few seconds and then I present it on his other side and I give him an opportunity to think about it before he acts. And as soon as he looks in its direction without striking, I reinforce. Here's another example of a snake that is just reacting. She's not thinking. She is just reacting to the side of the target and the feeding instinct is kicked in. We, we wanna transition away from them doing this and to them realizing the target is a signal that they have an opportunity to re earn reinforcement and that that's contingent on another behavior. So I make her pause for a very, very long time just looking at the target before I give her the reinforcement. Here's another good example. This snake completely changes directions to orient towards the target, and then that's when I deliver reinforcement. These final three snakes are a good example of how you want things to go. As soon as they look at the target, orient towards it, move in its direction, or even tongue flick at it, as soon as they acknowledge that target at all during this phase, where you're transitioning from pairing the target with food to presenting only the target, to help them learn that they have to interact with that target in some way in order to earn reinforcement, you wanna make sure that you're reinforcing the slightest acknowledgement of that empty target. Everybody, thanks for watching, and I hope that step two is very clear to you after seeing this video. But if for some reason it's not, and you still have questions, please don't hesitate to contact me through email at behavioreducationllc at gmail.com. You can reach me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, or just right here in the comments on YouTube. Everybody, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, please remember to always be kind and love your animals.